Corner is a very high stressful position. Just from me watching, Trayvon Mullen took a step forward this spring, played as well as I've seen him play. The work ethic seems to be there from everything I've seen and heard. Is he one of those guys that we're going to look at at the end of the year if he keeps working hard? Could put it together an All-American type year? I, I think he could. I hope and pray he does. You know, <laughs> uh, I, like, I like his focus. I like his work ethic. I like his accountability. I like the fact that he's uh, adopted a leadership role uh, amongst not only the team but the secondary. With A.J. Terrell and Mark Fields, are they kind of battling it out at that other spot? They are. Uh, matter of fact, you know, they, you know, right now there's a three-way rotation right now. So all three of them will play. You know, my thing is, you know, it doesn't matter who starts, you know, because, hey, if you do what you're supposed to, you'll all play. Anthony Williams is a guy that we heard a lot about recruiting, didn't hear a lot about in the spring, the redshirt year. What does he have to do to kind of jump up into your attention range to, to hey, I think this guy needs to be a part of that rotation? It's got to be consistent. For me, consistency is a must. You can't give me one play and then you take ten plays off and then you give another play and you take ten, ten plays off. I've got to have that consistency where, hey, i got to be able to count on you when I'm not looking at you. You know, where you know, something's happened, I know – the Anthony knew what he's doing. Boom. You know, so for me, it's consistency. Uh, and then he's matured a lot as far as in the weight room. He's put in some work. His body's changed. So I know physically he's ready to go out and play college football. Mark is a little different cat. Plays with an edge, has an edge in everything that he does. Does that help him? It does. But you got to learn how to channel it. Because it's like, you know, a guy that gets into a boxing ring and he's just th throwing haymakers all day, well, he's liable to get knocked out because, hey, he doesn't have his defense up. You know, so it's, it's one of those things that you got to channel it and you got to understand that, hey, it's a motivating factor. You can use it, but you just can't let it get out of control. AJ has all the ability in the world. You kind of threw him into the fire last year. Were you pleased with how he responded to everything and, and how he responded in the spring? <clears throat> I was, you know, and it's what I expected, you know, when we recruited him. A kid with high football IQ, uh, very physical, you know, even though the body didn't match up to his physicality, a uh, kid that could run, and I was I was quite pleased. And then I'm, I love the way that, like I said, the transition that he has made from his true freshman year to now. Could Kayvon can't come back and play a little corner if he had Kayvon to? Could, yeah, Kayvon can do it, and, and, and if you listen to him, he wants to. <laughs> he loves it. You know, he loves an opportunity to get out there and, and be impressed and play one-on-one -on -one and play corner. Mario Goodrich, Ky Kyler McMichael, two guys that you got coming in. Do you see a, a situation where they're going to play this year? Do you want them to play this year? Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I may die tomorrow. I want to be able to see these kids play now. <laughs> you know, so for me, you know, it's, I've got to get them ready to play for game one, you know, and then we'll go from there. You know, but that's the that's that's the plan. Kyler McMichael, he's so athletic, but what else do you see out of him that, that makes him a guy that can come in and compete right away? Physically, he's ready to play now. You know, he's a, you know, he's a 195, 200-pound kid, fast, explosive, uh, can do a lot, you know, was, was a highly regarded offensive player. Some people say he was the best running back in the state of Georgia last year. You know, so you got a kid that's very dynamic. And so uh, he likes to work hard, he likes contact. That's the kind of kids I want to work with. Mario Goodrich, what do you what do you see out of him? What does he have to do? Mario's a guy that, you know, hey, he's, he's, going to, he's going to come out, he's going to have to physically, you know, uh, step up. Uh, like I said, he came from a program where a lot of things were different, you know. Technique-wise, he's going to learn some different techniques. <coughs> You know, so for him, the transition is going to be terminology, learning the game plan, the game book, playbook, and things of that nature. But he's going to be stressed early, too, because, you know, like I said, I, I want to see him play. People will, will look at this defense and they'll go, oh, the secondary's the concern. I don't think so. I think that you've got so much talent there. What, what are your thoughts? I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's, I really don't, don't look, look at the outside. I have, you know, I don't read a newspaper. Um, I don't listen to the radio because I usually get tired of listening to the quarterback controversy, you know. So I don't listen to the radio. And for me, it's just, hey, I'm working, you know. Uh, I've got to get these young men ready to play, you know. Question marks, I let, I let that be everybody else's concern.
I'm just going to coach and do what I do.